Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we will do the charging test of the Redmi Note 8 Pro with the 10,000 mAh power Mi power bank. In my last video we did the charging test of the Redmi Note 8 Pro with the 20,000 mAh power version and in that video somebody commented, uh, let me just show you. Somebody commented that it, it was taking their power bank more than uh, 2 hours to charge. So this is uh, Amritanand T and he said that it took 2 hours 23 minutes uh, uh, from 0 to 100 percent using the uh, Mi power bank 10,000 million power. So in this uh, video we will figure out why this is taking uh, him uh, half an hour more to charge his Redmi Note 8 Pro with the 10,000 million power power bank while in my testing it took only 2 hours to charge with 20,000 million power power bank. So without any further delay let me just connect uh, the power bank uh, to the uh, phone and see what are the readings that we are getting from the power bank. So let me just plug it in. So after plug it, plugging, plugging it in we can see that we are drawing about 5 volt 1 ampere in the beginning and the voltage is now fluctuating. Let's see what voltage and current it uh, stables at. So 9 volt uh, 1 half an amp. Let's wait. 9 volt 1.1 1 .1 something amp and looks like it has stapled and it is changing again okay so this is what we're getting with the red uh, sorry the 10,000 milliamp power power bank so we're getting about 9 volt 1 ampere which is a little more than what we're getting previously but if you look at the bottom you can see watts the amount of power that uh, the power bank is sending to the phone is very less compared to the previous power bank which was the 20,000 milliamp power power bank in this power bank uh, with the testing of this power bank we are getting only 10 something watts However, if you remember my previous video, with the 20,000 milliamp power power bank, we were getting uh, more than 15 watt, 15 point something watt uh, we were getting uh, when we were charging our Redmi Note 8 Pro. So, and this is the reason why the red power bank, sorry, the, the 10,000 milliamp power power bank is taking at least half an hour more to charge your Redmi Note 8 Pro. In protocol, you can see that previously in my last video, with the 20,000 milliamp power power bank, the charging protocol was uh, Qualcomm 3.0. However, with the 10,000 milliamp power power bank, which is uh, this one, we're only getting Qualcomm 2.0 charging protocol. And this is the reason why the 10,000 milliamp power power bank is going to be a little slow in charging your Redmi Note 8 Pro uh, with either of these power banks. So let me just do the charging test. I'm going to drain the phone back to 1% and then we will do the charging test with the uh, 10,000 milliamp power power bank to find out the exact time what it is taking to charge our Redmi Note 8 Pro. Okay, so as you can see the phone is at 1%, so let me just plug the uh, power bank in and let's see how long it takes to charge. So plug in the power bank. Let's come back after 30 minutes and see what is the progress that we have in our phone. Okay, so after 10 minutes, Redmi Note 8 Pro charging with the 10,000 mAh power power bank. You can see the phone is at uh, 9%. Let's come back after another 10 minutes or 20 minutes. And see. Okay, so after 20 minutes, let's check uh, at what percentage our phone is at. So you can see on the top, our phone is at about 18% after 20 minutes when we are charging our power phone with the 10,000 mAh power bank. Let's come back after 30 minutes and see. Okay, so after 30 minutes, let's check our phone. So you can see that our phone is at about 27 percent after 30 minutes and one thing i forgot to show you that uh, even though it is charging at a lower voltage it is still showing a fast charging because we are indeed using a fast charger but uh, the power bank is not supplying uh, the power that the phone needs to charge at a faster speed so it is charging fast and we are at 27 percent let's come back after 30 minutes uh, sorry one hour and see at what percentage so after one hour let's check our phone So you can see our phone is at 53%. Let's come back after when the phone is complete. Okay, so after two hours, let's see what percentage our phone is at. So if you look at the bottom, you can see that our phone is at 95% charge. Let's come back when the phone is completely charged and then we will compare the charging speed of the Redmi Note 8 Pro with the 10,000 milliamp power power bank and the 20,000 milliamp power power bank. Okay, so I have stopped the timer. As you can see, we are at 2 hours and 24 minutes 
and our Redmi Note 8 Pro is completely charged. Let me unplug the phone, plug it back in. You can see that it says 100% charge. So it took about 2 hours and 24 minutes to charge with the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. And in my previous video, when we did the test of charging this phone with the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank, we found that. Uh, this took only 2 hours which was comparable to the uh, charger that you got in the box. So definitely the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank is about uh, 20 to 23 minutes, 24 minutes uh, slower when compared to the uh, 20,000 milliamp hour charger. So I've got the results here. Let me show you again. So let's write the final time of the uh, of the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. So 2 hours and 24 minutes. So we can see clearly uh, the speed difference. So this is the uh, charging time of the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank, and this is the charging time of the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. You can see after 10 minutes, uh, the 10,000 was at 9%. After 20 minutes, it's what it was at 18%. After 30 minutes, uh, 10,000 was at 27%. After one hour, on the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. Uh, it was able to charge our phone at 73 percent but 10,000 milliamp hour was only able to charge our phone at 53 percent after two hour mark our phone was completely charged with the 20,000 milliamp hour power bank but after two hours with the 10,000 milliamp hour power bank our phone was only 95 percent charge and it took another about uh, 24 minutes to completely charge the phone so this is about uh, 23 to 24 minutes slower when compared to the uh, 20,000 milliamp hour version so for the Redmi Note 8 Pro, I think the best power bank to buy at the moment would be your 20,000 milliamp hour uh, uh, Mi power bank. Uh, in my next video, we will test the Zinc power bank, which I believe will also give us better results. Uh, will be will also give us comparable result to this one. So there we go. This was my video of the charging test of the Redmi Note 8 Pro with the 10,000 milliamp hour Mi power bank charger. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.